Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. Path of Exile, The Awakening returns today. And, uh, we're in Act 4, the new act that tells us even more about the fall of the ancient Sarn Empire and possibly what happened to the Vol. So we're going to talk to these two and see what our mission is to get into the mine and find out what the hell this beast thing is. The time has come. Not a cockroach. To crawl up into the bowels of this nightmare, traverse its innards, and rip out its corrupted heart. Oyun will help us. Go on now. Hobnob with the Maraketh Matriarch. Learn what needs to be learned, and quickly. There's a filthy darkness down in that mountain, and it's reeking with impatience to meet you. Okay, so the Gemling Queen here is very keen on us killing the thing inside the mountain, and she's telling us that this Merikethi woman, Oyen, knows how to do that. You come to us, a woman like us, and yet nothing like us. While we cloak ourselves in tradition and war, you cloak yourself in thaumaturgy and fear. And that is why you will kill the beast within the mountain. Lady Diara has told me this. She has much faith in you, which the question is, can we Maraketh share in her faith? Sir Kemo Deshret sealed the mines, trapped the nightmare within its black den. The beast should never have been imprisoned. The beast should have been destroyed, yet for all her ferocity, it seemed that Deshret lacked the courage to do so. And now, after two centuries guarding this hole in the ground, this Akara lacks the strength. But you are not Deshret, and you are not one of us. Wait, was Deshret the name of the Emperor? Who was Vol, then? Deshret's banner uh, Vol is the Emperor. Deshret is, um, somebody else. Oh, Vol is the Emperor. Deshret's the lady who tried to keep this thing sealed in here. Must have been Maraketh. Or Marikethian or whatever. Ameriketh. So they're, they're Amerikethian. It's almost like American. Alright, works for me. Oh, actually, she could answer that, but I'm not gonna get too lore heavy in the start of this episode with just a bunch of dialogue. Let's go kill an old emperor! Vol, I'm gonna put this- my wand so far up your ass! Okay. Um... Neff, you get to lead the way, because I'm scared of what might be out there, because it killed me instantly before. So, they're, we're gonna go onto a dried lake bed next to where it used to be an aqueduct that they used to ferry... ...gems from the mountain. And somewhere in this mess that Larg's already torn apart... Oh shit, what is that? Okay, I need an adult, need an adult, need an adult, it's undulating. It's undulating. These are the things that killed me before. Not yeah, a fan. Bleed, by the way. Okay. Just watch your health. So this is like a monster made out of a bunch of dead things. So that's charming. And these are Vol's Fallen. And they are super murdery. Oh, this is what killed me before. It was the bleed. I'll bet it was that. Yeah, the bleed will kill you straight up instantaneously if you run with it and have no armor. Yeah, I'm gonna not- I'm gonna keep on top of that. You boys gotta do all yeah, my fighting for me. Yeah, running makes do more damage, unfortunately. Noted. Noted. That's an evil mechanic. Yep. I love the sound of this place, though. It's got a really great vibe to it. It's like an ancient drone of battle in the background. There's this dust scrabbler. That's new. It's like a little They're like weird insects that They're like, tap things that tase you together and they're nuts. They look like spider slash ants that hop around towards you. I I could believe it. At least only the big special monsters seem to be causing me to bleed. Okay, we're doing well. Um the last time we tried to record and the recording got all janked up. Um I pretty much entered this uh dried out lake bed and died instantly, so that was fun. Gotta be careful, though. Oh, there's a there's a secret murder hole. 
and set up a subjective for one of the. If it's uh, the armor, I already I already told Neff it's in the Arcara. last in the last we're episode. It's the, it's the huntress. We're not gonna do it. We're not doing we're not doing any of the shenanigan side things that go into murder pits, because the thing that Grinding Gear Games did when they when they introduced this, going into Act Four is almost as bad as going into New Game Plus as far as like monsters getting super powerful and super murdery all of a sudden. So you gotta I'd say be it's slightly worse. Okay, so slightly worse than going into the next game mode. I like that side areas are more difficult than the main game. Yeah. So we gotta be super careful, and that means, like, don't going into, like, challenging side missions that could kill the shit out of us. Oh, this is- these are specialty what does monsters. Do? I don't know what Nullifier does. I've came across it before, I just don't know what it does. Was that, like, what the monsters are doing right now? Yeah, the, one of the modifiers on the- the, uh, I think it's an Emesis mod. Huh. I think that's what it's called, Blark. Oh, the Nemesis. Yeah, that's what I think it was. I, I remember when I did that. Yep, just tell him the game. Well, that's annoying. So what they're talking about is, like, there used to be a modifier on, like, the specialty difficulty in Path of Exile, where if you killed a bunch of monsters in an area, some of them could spawn, like, a super murdery boss, mini-boss, that would almost kill you. So you had to be careful not to kill too many of them at once, or you'd be kind of screwed. And that's like oh, a... Be careful, be careful of Nightwing. He hurts. Okay. I, I was fighting him earlier, and then you guys entered the channel, and I couldn't finish him off. Yeah, so anyway... Well, this is awkward. I'm wearing the unique that I just picked up. What is it? Uh, Peregrine Wizard Soleil. May I see it? Alright, well, while they're doing that, I'm gonna look at all these, like... So it looks like the magic that Vol was given to make his black guards immortal caused their dead to fuse together into weird constructs. And then, like, when you kill them, they break into, like, a dozen others. I think those were, um, inspired by Nito, the god of the dead from Dark Souls. For a second, I thought you were gonna smack Nito, and I was gonna be really confused. Yeah, I mean... Magneto seems to be all about bone magic. I don't know where people get metal controlling from. Like, clearly it's- he's controlling- Oh, Vol. oh there he is. Fuck. Oh, you killed Vol already? No, no he's, he's trying to murder us. Oh, oh, he's over here. What's old Emperor Titface look like? Uh, why don't you take a look? Don't oh, get too close. If Jesus he, uh, Christ! He charges like that, and then he Vol, also I thought we were slam. friends! Why would you do this? Holy shit! He's cool. Let him let him live for a minute. I want to look at this. We don't have a choice but to let him live for a minute. We can't kill him. Oh, okay. I thought you were like really fastly destroying his butt. Got leave his health. He's like a gargantuan. That's awesome. I dig it. He's telling us to repent. Vol the brittle Ow. king, or the brittle emperor. Was this the uh, the crusader emperor, or was this the emperor that the crusaders killed? Or supposedly killed. Do you remember? This is the, uh, the Crusader Emperor. That's why it says oh. Emperor of Purity on his name. Oh, okay, I didn't know. I didn't remember the, the technical titles. He, he was genuinely trying to do a good thing, but... Okay, so the original Emperor, like the Emperor who didn't mean anything bad by what was happening, this is the guy that led the charge to kill him. So... He was coming up here to try and break into the mines and kill the beast. Also, there's like these little scrabblers that are special that are killing me. That's annoying. Okay, so we that? finally get to kill the Crusader King. The lore about this guy just said that he ended up dying after he took power in the Empire. He didn't really spend any specifics, but it seems like... He's not quite as dead as he claimed to be. And in fact, he was quite desperate to end the taint upon the world. Oh, we got his banner now, and... Wonder... Any other good stuff in here? Silk robes... 
I'm looking for another three slot. These gloves might be the ticket. Oh, there's a cool mask that gives intellect. Alright. Yeah, so that's like the, the leader of the Crusaders who, who waged war against the Empire. Let's see what his confession says. I vowed to care for this Empire with my eyes open. I lied to my people. I lied to myself. Blinded by my lust for purity, I placed my faith in the most corrupt of men. I watch now as my legion dies, their flesh melting from their twisted bones. They fall and rise. A tide of mortal death and eternal damnation. I feel it now in my own flesh. The heat, the corruption. I have failed you, my empire of purity. Do not forgive me, but please, I beg of you, survive me. Ah. So, I think he was actually, um, I think Malachi betrayed him. I think Malachi got his eternal vengeance. That's pretty badass. Look at Malachi, the most pure of all the thaumaturges in the Empire, who always tried to save and make better the, the world. He, uh, he felled the Crusaders himself with the power of a corrupt virtue gem. That's fantastic. Oh, I, it's Night Wayne. Oh, hi, Night Wayne. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> he, he's not, he's not the demon that this, uh, this salt flat, this dry lake bed deserves, but he is the hero that it needs. So, we better make sure that everyone gets their fill. At least he's not causing bleed damage, so whatever. When he charges up that, like, black energy on his bow, that does a lot of damage. Yep. Okay, noted. Looks like he's going down pretty fast with the three of us beating on him, though. Alright, Totemic. Oh, I can't even hold that. Is there a- is there a waypoint in here? No, it's just like basically like a single zone. Oh, there- it doesn't- after it doesn't branch off from here? Okay. Nope. So yeah, that was Vol, the Crusader Emperor, and he was the reason that the whole Empire fell, because he's a dick. And funny enough, despite him claiming that Malachi is the ultimate corruption, Malachi is the guy who inevitably tried to save everyone. And even sacrificed himself. How, how very nice of him, he's a good guy, that Malachi. We're bros. This guy's a pumpkin. <laughs> that guy's a straight-up pumpkin king. Oh, man. Where do we turn that thing in? Is that up here? Yep. Oh, wait, never mind. Must be oh, at we, the door. We open it, the uh, door, yeah. Okay, let's open the, the crazy murder door that I can't get to from this stairway. Yeah, so Malachi, um, the reason why he created the old Gemling Queen up here was to stop this demon. But she's an asshole, so she didn't go for it. And that's where, um, we'll probably leave you guys, lore-wise, this episode. Um, that'll make a little bit more sense why she was created, because she's a construct. Made of flesh and, mo and bone and, and weird mechanical gem powers. Who's this Tasuni guy? You have come to Tasuni, the Augur of Lost Dreams. I see into the gloom. I hear whispers of trembling heart and blackened soul. If you seek enlightenment, find a torch. If you seek to understand the nightmare, I stare into the eyes of madness, which... I see a hunger for power that nightmare would most generously satiate, should you choose to ask it. Oh, he's the, uh, he's basically the shopkeeper for, uh... Yeah, I figured that one out. Yeah. Tortured. So he basically says that, uh, well... First off, I've been getting these tarot cards recently. And these tarot cards, once you collect, like, the correct number of each one, you can turn them into that guy for, um, whatever reward. And, um, he also basically said that the beast that resides within this place... ...it gets some sort of wonderful release when you ask it for a 
bizarre corrupting power, but then it uses that power to destroy you from within. Is that super rude? Yes. yes. We have a few bits and yes, pieces. yes. You have a few bits and pieces that I can sell you. Whatever. I want to give you stuff. So I can upgrade all of my stuff. Ah, uh, this- these gauntlets suck, but they've got good slots. Eh. I'll get better. What's this headpiece do? Nothing that I needed to do, unfortunately. Um, it's gonna go. All this stuff that I just found is gonna go. What? Wait, do I want this? No, I don't. Okay, well, that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for joining us for more Path of Exile The Awakening. Um, the lore in these Act 4 episodes is gonna be a little hit or miss, because, um... I'm not familiar with it, I haven't had time to piece it together, so we're just gonna go by the seat of our pants and see what we can come up with. So until next time, I've been Larry, this has been Blarg and Nephinox, the potato, and, um, Blarg, you're gonna be a dead fish on the new thumbnails. So, just so you know, there's gonna be a dead okay. fish in there. Um, and we'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys! I'm not too much of these things. This'll just get worse if you do.